Well, hey guys, listen, I got a great opportunity to come out here with my buddy John. Say hey, John. How about it? <laughs> and we're out here at Cactus Rock trying it out. It's a, a little soft grand opening of the course. The course is only open for one day today to be able to get out and play with some people. And so I'm going to bring you along and try to get some overviews of the course. And we're going to have a good time. Bring you along with us right after the intro. Hole number one begins at the top of the hill. That's a par four, 580 foot shot. And your first obstacle is just to clear this ditch and hopefully you're gonna land somewhere along the road so that you have a nice uh, flat footing for your next shot. If you're able to, you can cut the corner of these trees because you're gonna push up the road, up the hill. Now, if you're able to land a little bit farther up, you might be able to push up and go over this last hill ledge on the left where the pine trees are up top because the basket is going to be nestled back to the left in this cove of trees. So there are a couple chances to cut the corner but be aware of the rollaways and that's hole number one. Now right from basket hole number one you're going to follow the crushed gravel path back up and around to hole number two. Hole number two is a par three, 332 foot shot and you could choose to either go right or left. There are two main uh, gaps down the hill and then it's a matter of speed control to get your disc to land uh, close to the basket down here at the bottom and that's hole number two. Now if we look to the left from this basket we'll see Cactus Rock back in the back there but we're going to turn to the right and follow the crushed gravel over the, the wooden walkway and then up this great wooden stairwell that is then going to lead us back and forth of these switchbacks to get up to the tee pad of hole number three. Be aware as you come around this corner, hole number 17 is just off to the left and they are throwing from up the hill. So keep an eye out for discs coming down that hill at a high rate of speed. And then keep climbing all the way up to the tee pad. Hole number three is a par four 924 foot shot. You're going to first have to get through the gap and carry on down the hill here. Remember, if you're right-handed backhand, your hyzer is going to hyzer out harder. Back to the left, could land in that creek. Other than that, you're just now going to keep throwing down the middle of the fairway as far as you can several more times. It's not a lot to it as far as complexity. You just got to miss all the trees and throw as far as you can. And hopefully after a few throws, you're up here by the basket for a nice, easy tap-in birdie. Okay, hole number four is a par four, 679 foot hole that starts up heading up the hill. So you're gonna wanna get a good pull up the hill to get into the flat landing area. And then it's once again, a matter of negotiating all the trees to get up to hopefully a good landing zone here to make the turn back to the right with still a little more elevation as you head on back towards the basket at the top of the hill. And that's the hole. Okay, hole number five is a par four, 591 foot hole. Uh, once again, you're throwing, the beginning shot of it is uphill. You're going to want to crest the hill. You can also take a right gap right here that we just walked by. And then pay attention to the left-hand side. Those set of trees guard a big drop-off down about 100 feet. So you don't want to lose your shot there, you, but otherwise you're going to continue carrying down this fairway and then you're just going to curl around to the end to this basket. Instead of going all the way left, you can take the cut through to the right, but it is a little bit more sloped and a little more pinched off. So uh, I would recommend taking that only if you've got a good setup where your hyzer can get all the way through. Okay, to get from hole number five to number six, you're going to need to look for the arrows and then be very careful coming down the switchbacks down the hill to the wooden bridge. It is pretty treacherous. This course is not cart friendly. As a matter of fact, if you have some knee issues, uh, it's going to be tough getting around some of these places. But you're just going to traverse down the, the slope, go across the bridge, and then come up to uh, tee pad number six. Hole number six is a par four, 615 foot hole. And guess what? You start off throwing up the hill. Uh, you go on to give it a big rip so you can hopefully get up to the flat landing. There is a nice flat area right here that you can uh, land your disc to be able to then throw another big throw through these trees. Hopefully you're going to crest over this rock that acts as a good barrier. And then you're going to keep on carrying down straight way through these trees all the way back to the back for hopefully an easy shot for a par four. But that's hole number six. 
Hole number seven is a par four 560 foot hole. And you're gonna have to be very careful with your uh, initial shot that it doesn't hit some of these trees and uh, trickle down, carry down to the left or land in this big ditch that likes to eat a lot of discs. Uh, so hopefully you're gonna be able to find a good spot uh, for your disc to land to set you up for your next shot. Otherwise, you're gonna be scrambling from one of these areas over here just to get up the, the next section of the hill with your second shot. But hopefully by your second shot, you're able to maybe see the basket and give a good uh, <laughs> approach shot up here uh, to a nice flat wide, semi-wide open green. And that will be hole number seven. Hole number eight is your first par three and it's only 409 feet over a big ditch that you never wanna see. Uh, and then back around to the left. A uh, little caveat, once you tee off, you're gonna have to backtrack and make your way down the uh, walkway uh, zigzag back and forth quite a bit to get back over around that ditch. So then once you come out you're going to uh, keep uh, pushing to the left up the hill uh, and hopefully you're going to be able to get up into the green on a little bit of a sloped island like green. Uh, so just be careful about rollaways. And that is hole number eight. Hole number nine is 809 feet par four uh, and gravity is definitely helping you out to uh, carry some of the distance. But if you catch any of these early trees, the rough can be very rough. So you wanna try to uh, maximize landing in the middle of the fairway, like most of the holes out here. But hopefully you get a good shot down so that then you have this nice little look down the uh, fairway so that you can start breaking back towards the other direction where the uh, the green is. Now keep in mind at the end there, there is a little bit of a slope carrying it towards the uh, water and the creek down at the bottom. So just watch your, uh, your disc speed coming in. And that's hole number nine and the front nine. All right, sit rep. We're on, uh, we just getting ready to start the back nine. Uh, and the front nine's are long, up and down hills, bring water, bring good hiking shoes. We took a break and had to go get some uh, refreshments. They're actually gonna be cooking up some stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, you wanna uh, definitely bring your uh, your big boy pants, big girl pants out here to walk up and down these hills and you want to stay in the fairway. So, all right, we're going to carry on. So hole 10 is a par 4, 560 foot hole. And it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to throw up the hill, try to find one of these uh, main alleys to carry you up to a good landing spot. Then going to try to get another good shot up the hill, crest this last hill, miss this big rock, and then carry into the green area. You still got some, you think you're past the rock, you're like, that's great, but you still got a little treachery before you get to the basket right here at the end on hole number 10. Hole number 11 is a 398 par three, and you've got a real tight uh, little gap through the trees on your tee shot, and then you gotta watch out for your disc rolling away to the left, uh, and the right side hill is gonna be uh, tough at knocking a lot of your discs back down into that ditch as well. So uh, just be careful with your drives and your approach shots on this hole. Hole number 12 is a par 4, 567 foot hole and your big danger is going to be on the left hand side of this hole because it slopes away very sharply. You don't want to go left because you could easily lose your disc. Otherwise you're just going to keep carrying around to the right. Uh, you're just going to have a gentle fade keep coming around all the way around till you get to the basket on this uh, great rock down here and that's the hole. Hole number 13 is a par 5 1051 foot hole and you're gonna have to first clear the water and make sure that you get into a good spot so that you can uh, carry on up the hill. The nice thing is it's pretty wide open you just got to avoid a few trees but it means that you're just gonna have to make several really good throws to be able to get yourself in a position to be looking at the green uh, other than that there's not a lot of major danger uh, just uh, be careful for the uh, the rough on the sides but otherwise just keep throwing just keep throwing and hopefully you'll get up to the basket for a, a nice uh, look at par all right hole 14 is a par 3 416 foot shot and the nice thing is Folks from the uh, parking lot and the crowd back there can watch you as you drive. You can either go straight through this gap or take a big hyzer around. Uh, once you get to this edge right here, it is a steep drop off down to the basket. So you're really just trying to get to the edge of that cliff and let gravity carry it down the rest of the way. And so once you're down in here, hopefully you don't get in the bushes behind the basket, but it should be a fun little uh, par three for you. Leaving that basket, you're going to have to go over to the left, and this is a little uh, switchback goat trail that you're going to have to be very careful walking through, as I'm sure they're going to develop it more, uh, but a little tight uh, walking all the way down this path. 
Hole number 15 is a par 3, 403 foot with the basket up on the hill. It's a crush with all these trees in your way, but it's an exciting little hole because when you get down here to the end, uh, most of the time because of where your bat disc is going to land, you're going to have this kind of shot straight up the hill, uh, about 60 feet, uh, almost vertically to get up to the uh, top plateau to be able to have a putt. So it'll definitely uh, challenge your, your drive and, and your approach shot. Hole 16 is a par 4, 673 foot hole that begins with a throw over the ditch, missing the trees. And you're really trying to get up over this ridge up here, but you want something that's going to be fading back to the left because the ground, once it gets over this hill, starts sloping back down to the right and will carry your disc down into jungle. So uh, just be aware of where your landing is for this shot. Hopefully you're in some area like this so that then you're going to have a nice straight shot uh, for the uh, next shot up the hill. And then you're just going to travel straight up the hill straight up the hill. The nice thing is you've got pretty good backstop behind this basket so you can give it a little run. Uh, but there you go, that's hole number 16. Hole number 17 is a par 3, 346 foot shot and it's downhill. You're just really trying to find that gap uh, with a putter or something. Uh, you don't have to throw very hard or very fast. It just needs to find its way down the hill through these trees and hopefully it will land on the green with the, the basket but a lot of times it's going to collect in this little ditch in front of it. You don't want to overpower it where you can go back behind into the water or into the jungle uh, and that's hole 17. Hole 18 is iconic where you're starting at the top of the hill and you're just looking down across a little pond uh, and you're gonna throw right by cactus rock to uh, the basket right down there and it is a, a fun thing to watch but also a, a great way to lose your disc because so many of them went crashing right into that water so uh, you don't need a lot of power you just need to make sure you make a good throw so that you can get all the way down. Here we're looking at uh, the shot back from Cactus Rock back up the hill so you can see quite a bit of elevation change. But other than that, you're hoping that you get down the hill, over the pond, near the basket, but also stop before you hit water behind the basket. And there you go, that's hole number 18. Well folks, there you go. It's a great course. It's got a lot of work that's already been done and it needs a lot of more work to get it to a place where uh, we can all see it going. Uh, but it's definitely worth your time to put it on your bucket list uh, to make a trip out there. But definitely bring your water, <laughs> your aspirin or anything else. Warm up, stretch, because it's a long course with a lot of big throws. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for doing this walkthrough with me uh, and I hope to see you out on the course.